What up peeps and peepettes, Warbtron here, and today we are looking at the Galliard 42 XN7568. Now this thing has a long name. What you need to know is that it's a energy slot auto rifle that was added in the game in the Black Armory. You can get this thing a number of different ways. You can get it through just doing forge completions. You get just random legendary drops at the end of those. This could be one of that. You can get it like I did. I got it from a powerful Black Armory bounty. That's why mine is 650. Or you can get it from taking down the random uh, forge saboteurs throughout the solar system. Now, why am I reviewing an auto rifle? Well, this auto rifle specifically, I think, would pair up very, very well with either a kinetic sniper rifle or a kinetic bow. Get a body shot with a sniper or any shot with a bow, and you have to clean them up. This you can easily switch to and take them down without a problem. And with this auto rifle's stat layout, you see here it has a hefty amount of range, and it's a 600 RPM auto rifle, it can really get the job done. You can clean up some pretty decent kills with this thing. Now the roll that I have specifically, I think works very, very well for this. You have moving target, which lets you strafe faster while aiming down sights. Under pressure, which increases accuracy and stability as the magazine gets lower, so if you are in the heat of battle, under pressure is going to uh, help you stay on target. Ricochet rounds are another good thing, increasing stability and range but also being able to ricochet some rounds around a corner to maybe try to clean up a kill or maybe try to scare an enemy from charging down a hallway with a shotgun like a madman, like 90% of the Crucible now. The scope that I have works very well for the amount of smoke bombs that you find yourself looking through in the Crucible now, or the big flashy grenades, as it highlights enemy targets, increases range too, not that bad of a deal. Now, mine also did come with a range masterwork. Pretty good. Am I going to spend my masterwork cores, or I'm sorry, enhancement cores on it? No, because you see there I only have 33. I like to hold on to them for a special occasion, or a special weapon. Not exactly a special weapon, just a, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Also, I just have the stock refurbished black armory shader on mine. Not a big deal. Now, this weapon in the Crucible, if you use an auto rifle in general, in the Crucible, and you try to use it as your primary weapon, your weapon that you're going to use the largest amount of time in a Crucible match, you will find yourself losing 1v1s. And why is that? Well, auto rifles themselves get outclassed in every single range that you might when you use an auto rifle in. Close range, there's of course shotguns, there's SMGs, there's sidearms, mid range, there's hand cannons which have the extremely powerful Not Forgotten and Luna's Howl. And in the far ranges, or the medium long, which this auto rifle can pull off quite well with a stat layout and perks, you have pulse rifles. So, there's that. So you're going to want to be using the, this auto rifle as not your primary weapon. With this auto, you're going to want to pair it with something like a kinetic sniper rifle or a kinetic bow. Something where if you get a body shot with a sniper or a body shot or a headshot with a bow, you can switch to this weapon and clean them up. Even if they do charge at you, like if you have a shotgun ape running at you, you can hip fire this weapon pretty good and back up, you know, back up while shooting. And granted, you will have to be hip-firing for this, because aiming down sights while moving, although moving target does help you with that, with this auto rifle, it's still best to hip-fire. And with under pressure, it makes it a little bit less painful. That being said, before we get into the Crucible match, the match that I'm using for this video is one where I do try to main the auto rifle. And I do so on a map called Retribution. It is a close to medium range map. There's not really too many occasions where you'd want to use a sniper, especially. You can pull off using a bow, um, but hand cannons and shotguns reign supreme on that map. And I actually don't do too bad 
using the auto rifle. And I do use a shotgun as well for those danger close engagements. But it's pretty good and I think is a good example of how weak auto rifles are in general compared to weapons that really got a really good buff going into Forsaken. Not saying that the auto rifles themselves really got that big of a nerf, just more everything else got buffed. It'd be nice to see Bungie maybe do some rebalancing in the future to make auto rifles a little bit more viable, as they are pretty fun to use, uh, being able to spray and pray, and uh, just kind of throw lead down range is always fun. But without further ado, the Crucible match. All right, so we got Clash on Retribution. Not a bad map for an auto rifle, actually. Um, got good ranges. Don't have to fight across an entire huge long distance like other maps. And hold on, let's just concentrate on not dying real quick. Yep, I did it. Still, you still need a shotgun in the Crucible. I mean, it, it is an auto rifle. Out. Okay, we sprayed and we got the assist. That's what counts. Honestly, with an auto rifle, you're not going to be taking down. Oh, okay. Hi, I didn't even know you were there, Diablo Hunter. With another rifle, you're not going to be, you know, winning every 1v1. In fact, you're going to lose most 1v1s. An auto rifle is definitely more of a backup weapon. Um, or a weapon that you're going to be team shotting with. You can throw a lot of lead down range with an auto rifle. But don't think that you're going to be winning any straight engagements, especially if somebody is using the meta. Uh, speaking of... Actually, you know what? Let's let friends grab that. Let's just... Oh, okay, that was a fail. You gonna come around the corner there, bud? Let's pull out our shotgun. Oh, okay, he died. He died as well. Oh, no. Okay. I should have kept my shotgun out. Didn't work. Gotten more kills, I think, with my shotgun than I have the auto rifle. And that's, honestly, that's crucible for you. I mean, auto rifles are a team shot weapon, and I just got outplayed by a wombo combo. But I'm at the top of my team, so there's that. There was a wombo combo, and I was backing up into a box boxes will we'll sneak up and bite you right in the ankles. Let's stick with a teammate. Like I keep saying, auto rifle is a team firing weapon. So let's get with team. And do just that. And then die to power ammo. That's pretty sweet. Can't really do anything against a uh, warlock surfing dude. Or person in general. Okay. Let's. Do a quick. And we took out of Spectral Blades before he was able to take care of my entire team. Even though I wasn't able to finish my thought, let's let's do a quick flank with the super, and then that turned into oh crap, there's the spectral blades in front of me. But I killed him. I took three hammers, and now there's a nova warp. And we're gonna get away from the nova warp, and then we're gonna get away from this hunter as well, maybe, or maybe we'll kill him. Yeah, I've got a shotgun too, bud. Oh, Skip grenades for the lose. Alright. Yep. 
wombo combo, and my friend just, the blueberry just walks into it as well. Just, just walks, just strolls right through that wombo combo. Oh, this is a, you know, a smoke bomb and a grenade. I'm just gonna, just, I'm just gonna mosey on through this. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry, Hunter. You go that way. There, I hit two of the bullets. This hunter loves chilling in that hallway. Alright, we won our 1v1 there. Only because he was using an SMG. And I was using an auto rifle. So if you go up against somebody using, you know, not the meta, yeah, you got a pretty good chance of doing something. Or you can nuke down somebody using a shotgun if they're not coming after you. He's going to try to crouch that. And if I go in there and try to shoulder charge him, I'm just going to die. Because he's going to be able to shotgun me before I do it. So, actually, let's see here. They might be distracted now. Let's come in here and try to help some teammates. And then get shotgunned in the side of the face by another hunter that was hiding. Happens. Alright. We have our super again. I mean, we're not doing too bad here. It's just... Using a team fire weapon like this, using an auto rifle in general, you're automatically kind of the underdog, and then that person always has an edge transit. Just all the time. It's no big deal. Probably should concentrate on denying them power ammo more often, but... I believe that is a... Spectral Blades. Shut them down. I'm dead. Could not see him. It's the negatives of being partially colorblind. Even in colorblind mode, you still can't see anything sometimes. Three minutes. You're evenly matched. And that hunter is going to... Yeah, just... Pulse rifle me down. Nothing I could do there. I had no teammates around me. I probably could have gone towards teammates, but didn't. Alright, let's support these teammates here. Let's get assists. Let's pad our numbers, basically. Alright, let's pick up these orbs. That, that, that. Warlock drop two, but I guess not. Goodbye. I have a good threat level. Alright, let's pull the outer rifle back out here and let's maybe finish off a. Uh, Sneaky Hunter, and I'm getting it Nova Warped from across the map. That Nova Warp with uh, Pulse Rifle range. Nope, I'm dead. Yep, yeah, hand cannon versus auto rifle, and there the whole enemy team was there, and we lost. All right, so we didn't exactly win that crucible match, but really didn't do all that bad considering we were maining an auto rifle, which, like I said in the beginning of the video, is outclassed in every range that you would use an auto rifle. So there we have it. It's a decent weapon as a backup switch to weapon if you're going to be using something like a bow or a sniper. Definitely see if you can get yourself a good roll on this auto. 
uh, it's it's worth it. It's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna give it a try. Actually, I'm recording this little outro bit way after I recorded the Crucible match, and I managed to get look here a good eh, stability. Not so great, but whatever. Wish I was draw time. A decent legendary bow, rampage, moving target, good times. Definitely gonna be giving that a go here in the Crucible. Probably later today in my stream, so definitely come check it out. Playing some Crucible, and I have to re review this threat level as well sometime. Look for that in the near future as well. But as far as the auto rifle goes, it gets about a, a six, five and a half to six. Let's say five and a half out of ten. As far as auto rifles go, it's great, but it's still an auto rifle. Bungie needs to do some rebalance, I think, to make auto rifles worth a damn in the Crucible. Because right now, they're kind of not worth a damn. So, we shall see what Bungie does in the future. But, if you found this video informative, funny, entertaining, anything, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, you want to see more of my stuff, hit the subscribe button. Just do it. Don't think about it, just do it. But, that being said, do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And then we'll catch you all next time.